Welcome to the Flata Show. Mmm, tab for my diet. Ted Jose's here in the studio, which is actually the living room today. Hold on, let me get him. Hi, Jose. <laughs> he's tired. He's a little puppy. And he's so hot today, he's just, I want to sleep. So we're going to try to get him into the shade. Say hi. Hi. So he's going to watch me. He's going to watch me today do this still life. Three tab cans of my ukulele and a knife, which is always in still life if you look at the museums. This and more. The Flata Show, starring Kenty. I just wanted to stop the uh, the process here because I'm draw I was drawing the the uh, image first before I started painting. But I want to show you how the struggle is. <laughs> now you're thinking, what the hell is this? The red is from a red I don't know what you call it. It's a red stick. I was drawing out the outline. I didn't like it, so I erased it. I'm starting to use blue for the uh, for the outline. Just wanted to show you how I'm blocking this out and the struggle. I have decided, I mean, I have decided on a, uh, a drawing for my uh, for still life, which I'm pleased with. And here it is. Notice that, you know, I don't m bother, you know, whiting out this red. That's fine, because I can use it in the final painting. And here's the knife. And here's the three tab cans, and there's the ukulele. Now, there's no detail at this point, but... You know, you'll, we'll build that up, so you'll see that in the next uh, installment of this, uh, or the next part, next time I film it. Okay, be before, I, before we start proper, I want to talk about the palette I'm going to be using. This is uh, Titanium White, which I use a old track. I use a lot of a white. Now, that's larger than a lot of these other ones. Uh, the reason why I don't have a lot of paint on my palette right now is because we have fans on, is drying out the acrylics. I'm using acrylic paint. This next color up here is cobalt blue, and here's another blue, ultramarine blue. Now, ultramarine blue stains a lot heavier. Now, I'm not even sure if we're going to be using this, but I might use a little tad of it here and there. This green here is a new green, cadmium green. I like the look of it. I'm not really sure how I'm going to use it, but I, I might need it. This, uh, this red here is, qu is quinacridone red, which I'm going to use for the pink. It makes really lovely pink. This red over here is Venetian red, which is an earth color. And I like that. That will be good for the body of the uh, ukulele. The next one over here is Azo yellow, which is very bright. Which I'm going to use for highlights if I need any. The next one is uh, ochre, yellow ochre. Again, I'm going to be using this for the body of the ukulele. And then this is Viridian Green, which I'm going to use in place of black in, in a lot of spots because it's very, very dark. So this is what I have uh, come with so far. I've blocked in the colors, as you see, and uh, have some ideas. I put some dark here where the, where the shadows are on the cans. And the guitar, the ukulele, I just... Uh, put in the, the body here and some, some elements of the ukulele. Uh, here, notice the neck here. Instead of just painting it all 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 the uh, the brown color, there are these, you know, spots in between for the frets. And up here I haven't done anything yet, there are some, some other elements. Uh, I painted in this green, which is not the final green or final even background I'm going to use for this, but I wanted something to uh, to, to compare. <laughs> to, I needed something for contrast for my eyes so when I'm painting, I'm not lost. Painting is like ballet, in that the ballerina, uh, the ballet artist, male or female, when they're doing those spins, they keep their eye focused on one spot so they don't get dizzy. And it's the same with uh, painting. You have to really focus so you don't get lost in the details. 
Otherwise, uh, you know, you, you can easily d get dizzy and fall down. It, especially in the beginning when you're drawing the, uh, the body. Uh, so that's that. That's my little tip about painting. It's like you need to focus <laughs> when you paint. So, so we'll do some more later. You'll see. You'll see more progress. I hope. So here we have the final, the final painting. I've decided at the beginning I didn't want to overwork this painting, and that was my, that was what I was uh, trying to do. Do it as quickly as possible to get all the elements that I wanted, and then not have it too, too tight because I have a tendency to overwork the painting and it becomes stiff. Uh, so here we have all the elements of the painting. We have the knife with the handle and the three spots you'll see in the, you can tell from the beginning, the tab cans, and then the ukulele with the strings. And I kept this dark green background because that's how I worked with all the, the values of the rest of the painting and it worked. So even though the, the original subject doesn't have that dark of a green, that's the artistic license. And that's what I wanted. I wanted the three tab cans, the ukulele, and the knife for my, my still life. So this is done and it's going to be drying. So thanks for watching the latest show today and I hope you had fun and hope you learned something. Have a good day. You've been listening to The Flatus Show. You can reach me at 206-339-JOSE or you can reach me at kenty at theflatusshow.com. Thank you for listening.